I was doing uh, cameos. Oh, here's my quarantine room. Let me show you what a mess this place is. Point the camera down, and there's like, you know, a couple of tissues and whatever. Because <laughs> What kind of cameos are you shooting now? You've been blowing your nose, you idiot. Or whatever. This poor Cody uh, tore his peck. Obviously. My presumption is that when you tear your peck off the bone... You can't tear it anymore off the bone. That's what You know what I'm saying? Like. Yes. It's like all the way off. What can I do that people are never going to forget and that's going to get me over literally for the rest of yes. my entire career? Mr. Rhodes, you are the man. I have nothing but respect and admiration for you. Um, I also think you're a little crazy. I was trying to think of the last time I had a feeling like that after a wrestling match where I just thought to myself... I've never seen anything like that before. And it occurred to me, the last time was Cody versus Dustin. <laughs> Why does the Drifter's brother come out here just like the booty man? They let Damian Priest in there with two women. Yeah. If you're referring to the hot tub days of NXT there? Yeah. Totally forgot about that. Priscilla Kelly, right? She's the one that was uh, banging Darby. <laughs> Craig, they were they were married. <laughs> Chat is he? appalled at you. Whatever. Who's the other should girl? Be JC Jane. JC Jane. I told you I don't know who these people are. I'm asking. Craig, there's no more. In... I'm a what answer. does it matter? What do you I'm want me curious. to tell you? One of the announcers asked the other announcer, "Have you ever been smacked in the face with a ball sack?" Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That fucking angle. <laughs> Wendy Chu had a uh... ball sack. Well, she had like a, a pillowcase, and there were balls in it. Okay. I see. They also mentioned she dumped her ball sack all over Mandy's face. All of these things. This is all on fucking no, television. No, they did not. I am not making this up, dude. That's why I was absolutely appalled when you were acting. I get it now. You actually didn't see that show. No, I would remember that. Trying to find sure. different ways to metabolize the virus out of my body. I had fast food today. Thought maybe that would work. I thought, you know, if I eat really horrible food... Have a five-hour energy in a donut. Maybe that will kill the remaining COVID in my body. And the answer... Yeah, the virus, a heart attack. Yeah, I thought maybe I could kill off the virus with something that would kill normal people. Hmm. Uh, it didn't work. Granny's furiously writing notes about something here. Quit watching. <laughs> You're on video! <laughs> Put your face over a... Actually, I better not say that one. But anyway, there's a lot of different things you can try. Don't even want to know. If you ordered a burger from Wendy's and the burger ended up looking exactly like Brian's face and contained all his memories, <laughs> what? <laughs> would you still eat it? <laughs> Probably not. Hey, what do you think about Cody working with that injury, Granny? What's your take? I don't think about it too much. Wow. Excellent okay. take. Is from that a cat like... on your bed? Uh, there's a cat on my bed. <laughs> there is a cat. Yeah, that's Mama Cat. She's uh, having a bath. This is the dumbest fucking name for a wrestler you ever heard of. One, two, three, kid. That's Vince's idea. This went forever. By the time it was done, he was the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kid. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Vinny, uh, <clears throat> that was my uh, delirious impression. My hair is out of control. Oh, yeah. Like worse than usual. I don't know about that. There's so many things on this show that I don't like in WWE, and they never did in AEW. And then, like, they did a whole bunch of it here on this show, and I'm just flabbergasted. We can talk about who was in it, who was not in it. I was baffled by some of this booking. The good news is CM Punk has had successful surgery and has uh, started his road to recovery. The bad news is they're bringing in another pointless singles championship. They can't even book two of these right, and now I have to trust them to run a third so it is called the All-Atlantic <laughs> Championship. So are we talking the Atlantic Seaboard? Are we talking the ocean? What the fuck are we talking about? Does the winner get a, a house in Atlantis? I, I don't know. It's not the All-Atlantis title. It's not, it cannot only be defended underwater. The one belt we've all been begging for for like a year now. Yeah. It's a trios title. Can we get rid of all of these belts I don't need? Yes. And give us the belt that we do need. Did we not just do a tournament, by the way? There's so much wrong with this. It's so much, so out of nowhere, stream of consciousness, no real plan. Let's throw a belt on TV. But your problem should not be with us. It should be with the guys who ran in. It should be with Will Ospreay's Bitch Boys, which brings out Osprey. I was very upset that we did not see the great Okan. Okan was out 
Probably a strip club or something, I guess. Why on earth Hangman Page was not in that battle royal and Tony Nese, for example, was more deserving? But then Hangman addressed it, so full credit to him. He did? He said, I wasn't in it. Looks like I'm not going to get a shot anytime soon. Okay. There was no explanation. Punk is the champion. Mm. If I can't beat him for the title, I don't want the title. And it's like, bro, do you know what an interim title is? If you win it, you're guaranteed a match with CM Punk. But no. I would rather have the TNT title. <laughs> what? My big takeaway from this is, first off, why the fuck is Jeff Hardy wrestling a ladder match? Well, is that When too? he was virtually knocked out of the pay-per-view. He's going to die, yeah. Bro, come on. Marina Shafir versus Thunder Rosa. Not good. Tony Schiavone. What is that noise? I don't hear anything. You're like the ice cream man. I don't hear the ice cream man. I should be deaf by now. Why do I hear all this shit? Maybe you're crazy. You can remember Fallon Henley because she's the one that likes to ride horses. All right. And if you've ever ridden a horse, a lot of fallen. Ah, yeah. she's fallen Henley. Yes. Nathan Fraser versus Santos Escobar. This is a great match. Tony D's timing and delivery on commentary is perfect as he just shouts, Nice job, moron. Can you believe this guy, Wade? This guy can learn to work. He's a future superstar. Out comes Apollo Crews. He says he's here for as long as he wants to be, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it's a good thing. No. If you've been watching the main roster, this is a huge upgrade. He was awesome in the main event. He was by far, by far, the biggest star and best thing on this show by miles. And Roxanne was amazing in this match. And uh, and the right woman won. Roxanne won. Yep. Roxanne and Mandy, they already had one match, and it was like Roxanne totally carried that match as well. Mm -hmm. So I want Roxanne to win the title. Just watch Andre Chase not knowing what to do with his hands. Bodie, you, you laid out. What happened? Who was it? It was pretty deadly. Oh, no. Julius is the tall one. Okay, I was Just right. think of the letter J. Okay. Brutus is the blocky one okay. like the letter B. There you go. They love Julius. Because he's tall. Sure. But I think we're all well aware that Brutus is the fucking man on this team. I think they should bring him and Tiffany up as a as a duo because they're awesome together. You're going to see some of these guys, everybody. Some of these guys are going to end up on the main roster. Oh, that was a thumbs up show. By NXT standards, holy smokes. Oh, that was one of the best NXTs of the year. Yeah.